Okay, in this lab, I want to configure this DNS server on RHC Lite. So, the main important elements we need to understand on DNS server is terminology. NS stands for name server, A for associate name with an IP address, PTR stands for point to record, that is a reverse lookup zone which we use, I mean the IP address to the name, as well as MX stands for mail exchanger, and C name stands for canonical name 4a stands for version 6 associate an ip address with uh, a name okay so quickly let me move ahead how to configure dns server on rh8 so you see the steps are very clearly mentioned here so the first step is that we need to install the bind second is configure the scripts especially the name server script and as well as uh, uh, rfc 1912.zone script and in the third step, we also need to configure this forward and reverse lookup zone scripts. Later on, we need to verify the scripts and restart the service. Once the service is restarted, we can uh, uh, basically check with uh, NS lookup as well as uh, dig is also a troubleshooting command. So let me first uh, install this bind. Bind, you can say asterisk. So this will install all the packages which are related to the name server. It will take a quick second time. We are moving ahead to the second step. The first part is done, installing all the bind packages. Okay. So here we have to configure the scripts. A is name.com. This is the script. Name.com. This is the script. So here uh, what I need to do. Uh, listen on port number 53 yes and uh, define this particular uh, server ip so the ip uh, can be known with if config here you can see this one uh, this is 1.23 so listen on port 192 168 1.23 slash i mean uh, 24 is the net and allow query with the entire network 192.168.1.0 slash 24 we say save this particular one so the first one is done so next script which we need to define the zones so we have etc name dot rfc 1912 zones so here what we need to do uh, we have two things which we need to do just copy this script this one, one, two, three, four, five lines. Okay. Five, five lines. And just place it to the bottom. I do not want to change any of the existing defaults. So I'd say deeper place. And also similarly, the same one, this zone, which is there here. Okay. For this reverse lookup zone configuration. One, two, three, four, five. These five lines we need to and I'm placing it at the bottom place. Now let me modify. So here I want to establish a zone called as star.com here as I mentioned star.com. So what I'm going to do here zone is I am replacing with localhost.local domain with star.com and say this is the master server. Remaining script is more or less similar. And if you want, you can make use this name dot local host, but I want to replace this one. I do not want to use the default one. So please don't change any defaults. So I will copy that. I am making it as star dot forum. That is forward lookup zone. Same thing here also. What I am going to do is for reverse lookup zone, I will modify. This is one 192.168.1. One dot is the network address. So in reverse lookup, we will say one dot. 168.192 keep remaining this thing same thing name dot loopback i don't want to use this file i'll use a star dot reverse reverse it makes me easy also for me to understand so i think uh, that's all uh, no modification there is a small error here save this file you can also verify this file Okay, let me verify the script whether I have configured without any syntax errors. So for this, I have a command called as named hyphen check conf. Okay, so, uh, 
and the script file name dot con. So there is an error in 11 as well as in 19. Okay, and also I'll check the other one named dot rfc zones. This is okay. So I will quickly change this one name dot con. So it is in line number 11 and 19. You see, so I need to place a semicolon after this. Okay. Similarly, here also I need to have a semicolon. Now let me try checking once again for any syntax errors. Perfect. So the second part is also done. Now let me configure lookup zones. See the where named. So here you see all the sample scripts which are there. So now here, what I'm going to do, I will not change any default file names. So what I'm going to do, CP with permissions, please do this one with permissions also, the file name permissions is named. So name dot localhost is the default file for forward lookup zone. So now I'm making use as for. Similarly, hyphen P name dot, I mean loop, loop back star dot reverse okay now i will try to edit this forward lookup zone so here now let me configure this forward lookup zone so please uh, you have to be careful in configuring all uh, the elements so here replace this at the rate of with the soa's uh, startup authority uh, with the host name so here the host name is server hyphen a Okay, so I can remove this one and also this R with the root. I can leave a gap also root dot I mean the server name I mean the authentication. So these are the default values, leave this one and the name server is again the name server is defined as server A. Okay, and uh, a records the IP address of this system 192.168.1.23. So the name of this server is I can say server A. How do I call this particular server? Remember that this entry should also be there in etc host. If not, please make an entry. So VI etc host. So here it's not there. So what I'm going to do 192.168. 1.23 and provide the name when you say ping with server a it should otherwise the script will not be understood so now server a is done similarly if you want to configure it b6 yes you can provide this one now i'm not going to do this one i'll add multiple records here i'll say website a is uh, I'll say website B. Later on, these things will be used even for creation of websites. So I have given 24, 25, 26 for website A, B, C. In this way, this I mean uh, forward lookup zone script is complete. Okay, so you can also verify using this named hyphen check zone check zone what is the domain name is star.com and i can say star dot for in my directory where this file is there it's okay if there are any errors in your script it will display here now it has displayed as okay similarly i need to it's in var name star dot reverse also i need to configure so here also similar one just replace this one with the host name And I say R name with root dot remove of this invalid entry and replace with the host name valid host name. Okay, so the name server entry is same. I mean the host name associate record the IP address 192.168.1.23. The name is server. Okay, so 
I'm aligning once again this IPv6 I'm not using here now the PTR point to record 23 I mean 192 the host address so the PTR the name is which I'm going to specify is server A whatever we have configured in reverse look forward lookup we can configure just copy paste 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 so I'll say 24, 25, website A, website B, website C, so the IP address is 25, 26. So just save this one and also verify whether this is okay. You failed. There are two dots here. That's okay, small mistake. Yep. This is done. Okay, loaded serial. Uh, the the next step is. Uh, service uh, system ctl to start the service system ctl uh, restart name dot service yes perfect so you can even enable this one uh, name dot service so this has been a startup service now the last one is identify the dns server resolve dot con so here uh, this server Identity is given as 192.168.1.1. I am replacing this one with 23. So, this is uh, how we need to configure. Now, everything is done. So, let me identify NS lookup. Uh, this thing is website a dot star dot com is fully qualified domain name. Yes, it has resolved. It is mentioning as you can see this one, it has shown as 24 which we have configured in our forward lookup zone. So if you ask about website b.star.com, it identified saying as 25. Similarly, if you ask for star.com, this should show all the things. So let me even try with the reverse lookup zone. NS lookup 192.168.1.26. So it is displaying as website C, website C. Hence your name server is perfectly working. So even let me explain about this dig command. There is a troubleshooting command which is dig, I mean, sir, website A, website A dot star dot com. Let me try to resolve. Yes, here you can see there is a query one answer one authority one all these things so the query is what is the query is what is website a star.com so the answer is website a star.com is represented as 1.24 in this way the troubleshooting we can clearly understand that whether your dns server is listening to this particular site or not let me even demonstrate on my windows system also okay so what I am going to do on my windows system is change the properties, identify the DNS server. Okay, I am providing the alternative DNS server is 192.168.1.23. So any questions will be answered from there. So just say okay. So just say okay and say close. Go to CMD and uh, say that NS lookup site a dot star dot com is resolved. You can see this one. It mentioned that website A is nothing but this is the authority server which is the DNS and this is the IP address of this particular. If a website is hosted on that particular IP, we will be able to see this one. Suppose if I say website C, it is demonstrated. Let me try with the reverse lookup. So 192.168.1.20 six or 25 so it is mentioning that in the reverse lookup zone website b dot so and so so in this way this uh, dns works thank you